Nursing homes sue administration over new federal arbitration rule. State senators seek special accession to restore nursing home funding. And providers sued for allegedly refusing to hire men. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 11th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Two Arkansas nursing facilities are asking a federal court to declare a rule that prohibits long-term care facilities from requiring residents to sign a binding arbitration agreement as a requirement for being admitted to continue receiving care as unlawful. The lawsuit was filed Wednesday against the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services and Department of Health and Human Services by Northport Health Services and NWA Nursing Center in the Western District of Arkansas. Both companies are based in Springdale, Arkansas, and operate at 140-bed skilled nursing facilities. Providers claim that the amended arbitration rule is in violation of the Federal Arbitration Act and that neither CMS nor HHS has the, quote, statutory authority under the Medicare and Medicaid Acts to regulate alternative dispute resolution. They also ask the court to stay the effective date, September 16th, for the arbitration agreements and prohibit the administration from enforcing it. In 2017, under the Trump administration, the agency proposed a rule that would remove the ban. The final rule for arbitration requirements was published in July. Connecticut's Republican senators are calling for a special session to override a portion of the state budget that cut $5.3 million in Medicaid funding for nursing homes. The loss of funding could put nine nursing homes at risk of closing. The senators said they are hoping to prevent that by working with state Democrats to, quote, identify cuts and savings elsewhere. Connecticut's state budget was approved in the spring and removed stop-loss protections for nursing homes that don't meet certain federal quality measures or those that have high vacancy rates. Lawmakers urged the state already had procedures to hold nursing homes accountable for errors and this policy change doesn't enhance that system, but rather makes it harder for facilities to improve and offer care. Their hope is to find $5.3 million in their $40 billion budget to restore Medicaid funding. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. <laughs> Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. The Federal Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is suing a medical provider for allegedly refusing to hire men and retaliating against one applicant. Northern Arizona Orthopedics is accused of hiring women over men who are more qualified for at least two positions. The lawsuit accuses the provider of retaliating against one male applicant who complained about the alleged discrimination. The provider allegedly told the man not to apply for any other positions with it. The EEOC is arguing the alleged discrimination violated Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which prohibits gender discrimination and retaliation for making a complaint. The parties attempted to reach a settlement prior to the lawsuit but were unable to come to an agreement. The lawsuit is seeking back pay, compensatory damages, and punitive damages in the amounts to be determined in trial for the qualified male applicants and remedies to prevent future discrimination. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.